Extract 1. Questions 1 to 12. You hear an ophthalmologist talking to a patient called Mahira. You now have 30 seconds to look at the notes. Good morning, I am Dr. Oliver Woods. How can I help you today, Mahira? Hi, good morning, Dr. Woods. Thank you for seeing me. Lately, I've been having some trouble seeing, especially towards the edges of my vision. How does it feel? It's like there's a tunnel forming around what I'm looking at. I see. How long have you been experiencing this type of vision, as you describe it? It's been gradual, I think. Maybe for the past few months, but it seems to be getting worse lately. It's most noticeable when I'm reading or trying to see things in dim light. Interesting. Have you noticed any other changes in your vision, like blurriness or flashes of light? No, not really. Just this effect. But sometimes, especially in the mornings, my eyes feel a bit achy and tired. All right. Do you have any underlying medical conditions, Mahira? High blood pressure, perhaps, or diabetes? Actually, I do have high blood pressure. I take medication for it, though, lisinopril, once a day. Good. Have you tried anything to address this vision issue? Any over-the-counter eye drops or supplements? Well, I did read online about Bilberry for eye health, so I've been taking those supplements for a couple of weeks but it hasn't seemed to make a difference. I understand, Mahira. Does anyone in your close family have any eye problems? Actually, yes. My grandfather on my mother's side had glaucoma, I believe. That's important information. Based on your symptoms and family history, there's a chance you could have it as well. To be sure, we'll need to perform a few assessments. This may include a visual field test to map your peripheral vision. All right. No problem. And also a tonometry test to measure your intraocular pressure. What pressure? What's that? Mahira, intraocular pressure is the pressure inside your eye. In glaucoma, this pressure can build up and damage the optic nerve, leading to vision loss. Oh, that sounds serious. What kind of treatment would I need if that's the case? Well, Mahira, it depends on the severity of the condition. But usually, the condition is managed with prescription eye drops like Travaprost to lower the pressure inside your eye. Eye drops, huh? Is that all? Hmm, in some cases, additional medications or even laser surgery might be necessary. But for now, let's focus on the assessments. Once we have a clearer picture, we can discuss a tailored treatment plan. Extract 2 Questions 13 to 24 You hear a GP talking to a patient called Mahira. You now have 30 seconds to look at the notes. Hello Mihira, come in and have a seat. I am Dr. Tanya Morris. So, you're a new patient at the practice, is that right? Yes, doctor, that's correct. My name is Mihira. It's nice to meet you, Mihira. Now, what brings you in today? Well, doctor, I've been having this pain in my lumbosacral area for the past few weeks. It started quite suddenly, actually. Okay, and can you describe the pain for me? I mean, what type of pain is it? 
It's more of a dull ache. Always is it. Or any variations. Mostly yes, but it can be quite sharp sometimes, especially when I get up after sitting for a while. I see. And does the pain radiate anywhere else like down your leg? It doesn't really travel anywhere else, but it makes it difficult to bend down and pick things up. Interesting. Now, Mihira, you mentioned lifting heavy things. Do you have a physically demanding job? I actually work as a nurse, so yes, I do lift patients quite often. Lifting patients is definitely a challenge now. I have to be extra careful and sometimes rely on colleagues to help me with heavier patients. That might be a factor then. Have you tried anything for the pain so far? Over-the-counter medication, perhaps? Yes, I've been taking some diclofenac, but it doesn't seem to be making much difference. Okay. In order to understand the cause of your pain better, I might need to do some additional tests. Have you had any back problems before? Or any injuries, Mihira? No, I haven't had any lumbar issues in the past. Okay. Well, based on your description, the pain could be a number of things. To get a clearer picture, I might recommend some tests like an X-ray or even an MRI spine to see if there are any underlying issues. Okay, that sounds reasonable. I just want to get this sorted out as soon as possible. Don't worry, Mihira, we'll get you there. In the meantime, I would recommend applying heat to the affected area and doing some gentle stretches. Okay, I will do it. I can give you a pamphlet with some exercises you can try. These exercises are designed to help strengthen your muscles and improve your flexibility. Mihira, incorporating them into your daily routine can contribute to better overall physical health. Great, I can definitely do those things. It sounds like a manageable plan that I can easily incorporate into my routine. Thanks for providing the guidance. I'm looking forward to getting started with the exercises. Excellent, Mihira. By the way, we will schedule another appointment for you in two weeks to review the results of the tests and discuss further treatment options. Additionally, it's important to keep your posture in check, so pay attention to how you sit and stand throughout the day. Thank you for scheduling the follow-up appointment. I appreciate the opportunity to review the test results and discuss potential treatment options further. I'll make sure to keep my posture in mind, especially during daily activities like sitting and standing. No problem at all. Mihira, don't hesitate to reach out if your pain deteriorates or if you have any questions before our next appointment. That is the end of Part A. Now check the answers.